Let's go look at Father Lab, he's no Hugh Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Down the end. Definitely, without doubt, the best day in our lives. Definitely. I'll never, ever, ever forget it in yeah. my life. If I live to be, I won't live to be 100, but if I live any more than I am at the moment, I'll never forget this. Young Ted named him after Steve McQueen's film, who yeah. we all loved, yeah. uh, Papillon. And uh, just a fairy tale story. I mean, Ruby to ride him, Ted and Katie led him up. And uh, the woman who owned him, Betty Moran, was sort of a fairy godmother. It's like the whole family association. Everything. It's, it's you couldn't what you, it, it is what you dream of. Yeah. The dream come true. Yeah. With Brave Highlander at the second last and Papillon lands over with a narrow lead. It was the only horse I ever would have said, he'll never fall. Yeah. No matter where he was, yeah. he had scope to burn. He could stand at the wings there. He came up one day at Fairy House, there was a shadow on the ground and he came up at the shadow. Yeah. And then when he found he wasn't going to get there, he stretched again. So oh, he was, everyone that rode him, every one of them said that rode him. What a ride he'd be mm -hmm. in the national. How right they were. Papillon holding on with 50 yards left to go, and Papillon wins the Martel Grand National. And the way it worked out, we went back to Manchester, and at the time, there wasn't the internet or anything, and mm -hmm. it was the paper. And when we got back to Manchester Airport, on the front of all the local papers, was Papillon, Papillon. was after winning the mm -hmm. national. So all we could get was chips and champagne. Sky News came down the next morning because there was a big gamble on him. And, and they came to the front door, and rang the front doorbell, and Kevin O'Ryan of... Racing you TV know Kevin. Fame, you know <laughs> Kevin. Answered the door, and he'll kill me for saying this, in a lovely pair of Y-fronts <laughs> to Sky News <laughs> at the front. It's a bit like uh, the film where your man comes down in his jocks and opens Notting the door Hill. for Notting Hill. <laughs> Hugh Grant. What you call yeah. him? Hugh Grant. No, uh, no, no Jesus, Kev's Kevin's getting... Kev. <laughs> it's a good looking fella now, but he's no Hugh Grant. <laughs> then number six, Valverde. Three or four lengths to four... You always want to ride him? Um, I found out maybe before Christmas that year, I was Martin asked me to ride him in it. And I was, as you can imagine, a 20-year-old yeah. having his first ride in Ashton. I was very excited, couldn't wait for it. Um, it was a nervous morning yeah. getting there to the to the day now but it was a nervous excitement he wasn't the quickest horse in the world yeah. but he was a real good jumper jumper yeah but i just i knew if i forced him early i wouldn't have got home oh. so i just had to sit and suffer for a while and let him find his feet but yeah. I, he never missed a beat the whole way it's number six Valverde who's out jumped and outstayed them for slippers madden 20 year old slippers madden wins it in his first ride what you, what's going through your mind there um this isn't happening. <laughs> uh, it's a dream. Highlight of your career? Oh, big time. As you know, it's it's the Grand National. It's everyone grows up. Well, as far as I was concerned, yeah, everyone, everyone knows what the Grand yeah. National is. I'm mean, after win the national. I went to celebrate. Yeah. I think I took the week off work, so, <laughs> but uh, we, we celebrated for a while. And Seabass and Katie Walsh have gone handy as well as they stream out over the fence before Beaches. So this is Seabass 2012. I'll never forget it. To um, to get the opportunity to ride in the race was. Savage, uh, to write it for my father was, ex you know, very special. Ted, what were you thinking? What I was thinking, I was thinking the God said, well, was I mad to be letting my daughter ride sea bass in the national with 40 runners? Did I really love her as much as I thought I did to send her out <laughs> in this race? <laughs> Helen and myself looked at one another up in the stand and said, do we need our head examined? Yeah. But we went and done it anyway, and it all worked out great, right. you know. The big problem was, would he get four and a half miles? She's yeah. hurled on him there. Yeah, he's and he's hacking. Hacking, yeah. And he was a great leper, bonny little horse. Watch him jump here now, the red cap. The final fence of the Grand National, and on the outside, Sunny Hill Boy, and on the inside of him, that is Seabass. He's the first two. Neptune Colange is battling on in third. I definitely would have done a couple of things differently, but that's the competitor in you. Often people would say to me, did you ever think you were going to win it? I did. I said, I'm going so well here. Like, I actually, this is going to happen. But then, but then it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they go around the elbow. Sunny Hill Boy and Richie McLaren have got the lead over Seabass and Katie Walsh, Neptune Colonge and Daryl Jacob. They've got another 150 yards to go. Sunny Hill Boy with Neptune Colonge on the outside, bearing down, racing towards the line. Sunny Hill Boy and Neptune Colonge. Delighted over yeah, the moon, like our horse is empty enough, round safe and sound. First woman to be. 
to get around the Tiger, national and be placed. Place the national, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tiger all the star on the cafe. Davy Russell has got a good position as they make the run around now towards the next pair of fences, numbers 13 and 14. This is a very classy horse. You won a four mile on him. Yeah, you he won triumph. triumph. This horse has been so good to so many people. Unbelievable. He's a horse of a lifetime and I don't think I realised when I rode him in Cheltenham what kind of a horse he is. Yeah. But he's just a phenomenal phenomenal he loved racehorse. It, didn't he? he just loved he never it. Loved he just took to it. No, we weren't sure he was going to Go back to back. We haven't seen it since Red Rum. Uh, you two lads don't remember no. Red Rum. No. no. She were in nappies. I don't. Definitely don't remember. <laughs> I wasn't even in nappies. I suppose what I remember is the, the way he the way he won. He won with such ease yeah. that, uh, like I said, and he and he he he, he hacked up this year. He hacked yeah. him. Was another indication of what a great horse he was and what a a great ride Davy gave him. Like he's in a grand position every step of the way. Rathfind and Tiger Roll, despite those errors, is right there on the inside under Davy Russell, then live, love, laugh. But there was way more pressure. Oh, way more pressure. Way more pressure. And you could feel the media attention he was getting. Um, and he's, he's a horse, he actually thrives um, on front of the camera. He, lo- he loves the attention of it all. And I was even sat at home watching this thinking, Oh my God, he's going to do it again. How is he going to do it again? Tiger Roll is remarkable. He comes up towards the winning line under Davy Russell to win his second round Ox Health Grand National. He had no quirks. Yeah. Little lamb of a horse. Uh, oh, great horse. And I mean, he's have a great retirement now. And uh, I hope he lives a long life and enjoys it because he was a unique individual of a horse. That's what he was. To be as handy as he was, be as good a leper as he was, and be as sound yeah. and deliver Whenever they wanted him at Cheltenham and at Liverpool, he delivered. Delivered on the big occasion every time. They're off for the 2020 Randolph's Grand National. 40 runners getting away and as they head uh, towards... This was the, the strangest national ever. Yeah. No crowds, nobody there. Look, look at the empty stands. Like it's It crazy, was just it? mad. This is Rachel's year, Manella Times, but Ted, your main focus was any second now in this race. And what falls and, and hampers any second? Johnny Burke falls on a good leper. Horse that had never fallen, and he falls in the bluish colours. Oh Jones yeah! Says, hey. And we get look at there's us getting uh, hung up. In. Uh, when I knew that our chance that it wasn't going to happen, my all my eyes were on Rachel. Rachel. Yeah. of course. Because yeah. I was very aware that like, oh my god. Mm. She is going to win the national. Yeah. Manella Times for JP McManus, Henry de Bromhead, and more significantly, Rachel Blackmore. History in the national. Manella Times wins. And actually, Rachel went right over my head here. I was just thinking about Ted and any second now, <laughs> and in good order he was in. That's all I was thinking of. Yeah. Not thinking about Rachel and the great day she was going to have. She's a great story all the way through because she's a wonderful human being as well, too. She's unassuming. She takes it all in her stride. She's just. Just a, gets on with it. Ah, she's a professional. Yeah. She's great for the game and uh, she's a great lady. To see her, you know, develop into what she has developed into. Oh, you know, for women in racing, mm-hmm. for jockeys, like I mean she's unbelievable, oh, isn't she, Lisa? But she's so modest. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say way. unassuming. Uh, Rachel did an interview after the race and everyone was talking about Rachel Blackmore, this Rachel Blackmore that and they asked Rachel like, What do you think, Rachel? And Rachel goes, I want to meet this Rachel Blackmore. <laughs> and after <laughs> all watch. she's achieved in the last especially the last two years like she's still the same person, person. Oh, totally course, yeah. the same person ah she's not ah she I'm is <laughs> hopefully back again this year with any second now You're yeah happy. back again this year I'm happy with the horse preparation has gone well he's in good nick uh, he'll run a good race if he gets the same run through yeah. he won't be far away so long as nothing ha- untoward happens to him in the race he'll be there at our routes I think it's a good national okay I'd be happy enough for him and I I'm glad to be going with him. I wouldn't swap him for anybody else's horse.